So today I'm going to be talking about the risks and long-term restrictions that come with getting a simulator. And this is not to scare you, this is to make you aware because you want to be an informed patient. So in the description, I have links to as many of the company's user manuals or warning precaution areas as I could find. Some are more elaborate than others. Some you actually have to contact the company to get the full thing, but at least this is a start. So when it comes to risks, any surgery comes with risks. And with getting a simulator, you're going into the spinal cord area. So you're gonna have to worry about everything from a spinal fluid leak to paralysis and then afterwards, infection, if your body rejects the device, if your leads migrate or break, there's so many things that you'll find in the manual. And then when it comes to restrictions, I know a lot of people focus on those short-term restrictions like bending, lifting, and twisting during your trial and during the first six to 12 weeks after you're permanent. But there's other restrictions that you don't think of. Even if your device is MRI compatible, you'll likely need your rep to contact the facility where you're getting the MRI to make sure that it's calibrated properly. Also, if you're getting x-rays or a CAT scan, you're gonna wanna shut your device off. If you're operating a car or heavy machinery and you have a device that uses paresthesia, you're gonna wanna shut that off because the positional nature of the device means that if you bend a certain way and the intensity increases, you can put yourself and others at risk. If you go to the dentist, the dental drill can impact your stimulator. Going shopping, those theft detectors, or if you're in the airport, the airport security detector, anything that has an electromagnetic field can impact your stimulator. Also going into surgery, one thing I learned was those cordery machines. Those need to be calibrated properly so that they don't burn out your stimulator. And then there are precautions for things you wouldn't even expect, like going skydiving or scuba diving. So all things to be aware of, once again, links to everything in the description, so you can take a bit more of a deep dive. I hope you find this helpful. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you soon.